Welcome back to Weg's Garage. You might notice we're missing something fairly important right in this area, and that would be our windscreen. So today, we're gonna be showing you how to put a windshield on a Triumph TR4. Stay tuned. All right, so we got our windscreen frame and our windscreen laid out. First step will be getting this old rubber seal off of the windshield, uh, and then we'll be slipping a new one on. So we've got a vinyl trim set that uh, goes on the inside of the license plate frame. Uh, so we're putting some spray adhesive on there uh, and then sticking that down. And then all the edges of it uh, get kind of get covered by different seals. Okay, so we put our windscreen frame in with the seal kind of temporarily in place. I don't, I don't know if there's different versions of this seal. This one um, seems like it needs quite a bit of trimming. You got to trim the holes for the windshield posts. You got to trim around these things. Um, not super thrilled with the fitment on that so far, but I think we can massage it into place. And then our dash cover uh, it comes a little bit far out so I marked this uh, with a white pencil uh, so when we take this off we can trim that to fit so we got to take this back off uh, trim up this gasket a little bit more and then put it back in So, seal actually went in uh, pretty nicely, I think. Uh, everything sucked down nice and tight in the end. Uh, we got to trim the length still. Uh, inside, had to trim around these, but that looks pretty good. Tightened up the bolts down there for the frame. So, I think our windshe windscreen frame is down for good so we're ready to put some glass in but uh, it's getting pretty late in the day so uh, we'll probably come back tomorrow and take care of that all right we're back day two uh, first order of business is to get that seal onto our windshield uh, we're going to put in some hot water to heat it up and then get it on there and then we're going to be putting it in place in the windscreen frame.
seal is on the windshield. Uh, that didn't go too bad. Um, now we have to get this onto the frame. Um, there's a little lip here. And to get that on, we're going to stuff a piece of, I uh, got some paracord. We're just going to stick that in there. And then when you pull it out, it kind of helps you slip it into the flange on the windshield frame. So we're going to get this in first, then we'll be putting it on the car. Not easy, but we got it. Uh, the windshield is in with the gasket. Uh, we ran into a little bit of trouble on this side. Uh, can't really see, but the rubber started to split a little bit under our string. Uh, but we were able to kind of pull from the other side and get it to come back in. And yeah, it went really slick. So. That's in. Uh, now all we got left to do is to put the little chrome strip in here, which kind of dresses it up and also expands the seal to help hold the windshield in place a little bit. All right, so one other tip. Uh, in addition to the string, it's also quite handy to have uh, another tool. Uh, I think they sell things like this, but we made one out of basically a cheap Harbor Freight screwdriver, bent the end, uh, rounded it off on the grinder so it wouldn't hurt the rubber. And uh, you can get that up under there to kind of help out in spots where the rubber gets caught up or uh, stuff like that. So also very helpful. So we got our chrome finisher strip in here. Uh, that fits really tight. So uh, again, uh, tools of the trade. I guess we, we made this little piece of wire uh, and kind of just led it through while we were pushing on it. And that seemed to work pretty well until we got to down here where the two ends come together. Uh, and that you just kind of have to muscle in, get some little screwdrivers and stuff in there and carefully peel it back while pushing it on but uh, everything is in place um, came out really nice so last uh, kind of finishing touches here is getting the top chrome piece on the windshield frame and uh, I guess any other trim that's left up there Okay, well that was pretty short-lived. Uh, so we have a new 
chrome cap strip here uh, to put on. Uh, but I have the old one here to kind of show some differences. So first concern is it seems like th there's probably not enough room here to fit the convertible top or hood underneath this cap, which is what the cap does. Uh, our top has snaps in this location here. Um, yeah, so then if we compare to this other one, uh, there's no spot on the corner for snap. So I'm not sure what to do about that or if we maybe need to reuse the old one. Uh, everything else is good, but it has the same problem with not enough clearance under there. Uh, and we also don't know like is if there's supposed to be some kind of rubber seal or something that goes under there or any other kind of channel that's needs to be installed on here at the same time. So if there's anybody out there who's got some experience with uh, working on this part of the car, we would love to hear your comments. Uh, you know, it's possible that maybe this rubber seal is a little thicker than the original one, and that's why we don't have enough clearance there. So if anybody's kind of run into that before, uh, just let us know in the comments, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll probably get this on next week. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Uh, it's pretty exciting to have the windshield back in the car. Uh, it's one step closer to having this thing back on the road. Uh, yeah, I think as of today, we have about seven days left before cruise night. Uh, it's going to be close, but I think we're going to make it. So, uh, again, thank you so much for watching the show. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if you have any information on our cap strip. Uh, we'd love to get some ideas on how that's supposed to go together. So, uh, yeah, until next time, thanks for watching.